Juliana Lima making her way to the octagon and set to leave tonight with the UFC strawweight championship belt around her waist. As she makes her way to the octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape. She is focused. She is motivated. And she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. Juliana Lima steps into the octagon. And this time, she wants to leave with the belt. Assassin making her way to the octagon, looking for the win once again to defend her title. The champion is making her way to the cage right now. Her preparation for this title bout has been absolutely according to plan. She is focused, she is in great shape, motivated and determined to step in here and put on a championship level performance and retain her title. Assassin set to go to battle against Juliana Lima. Our tale of the tape. For this strawweight championship fight, Assassin is 27. Lima is 42. Assassin is one inch tall. She will have a two inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee and John This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from Madison Square Garden in New York City. And it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Strawweight Championship of the World. It's this woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 9 losses. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting at a Bella Horizonte Brazil, presenting the challenger, Juliana Jupa Lima. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 2 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Assassin. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This Man, this is going to be a great fight. Assassin. You ready to fight? Juliana Hurry. Lima. Here we go. Five round fight. Joe, her last performance was the most dynamic of her mixed martial arts career. Winning in the octagon by knockout. Now we know she's got great hands, good kicks. She also has a great ground game. She's looking for another win. Transitions to full guard. Nice, solid left hand. Inside the guard again. Solid shot to the bottom. 
Three minutes. They are exchanging here, Mike. Lightning quick oh! with the hands. Wow! Oh, she heard her there, Mike. She heard her. Big takedown. Oh, Huge big shot right to hand. White. She moves to full guard. Back up. Big uppercut. Very nice counter throw on the takedown attempt. They clinch up. Trying to take the back here. She transitions to full guard. And she's back up again. And now they clinch. And they disengage from the clinch. Shot to the body. Looking for the single. And again with the oh, takedown. Nice. Oh, oh there's that big right one. hand. Vicious ground and pound. Big punch. Just vicious skiing off. Vicious haymakers from the top. Trying to pass here. Oh, big shot. Oh, this might be the end. And that'll be the end of round number one. Juliana Lima's cut seems to be getting worse. It does seem to be getting worse. That's a nasty cut. Here's a very incredible highlights. In Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Here we go, round two. Tries for a low single. Grab the leg, completes the takedown. Full mount, not good. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Lima's got full mount. Nice. She gets into full guard here. She's able to get the fight back to full guard. And they're back up. Faints with the kick. Good Safe defense for now. And Joe, there's another nice takedown. Outstanding job with the takedowns tonight. No doubt about it, Mike. I don't think there could be any debate. Big power in the ground and pound. And she's in full guard. Reversal right into full mount. And back up again. Looking for another takedown. Joe, and another takedown. Starting things off well here in this round. Now she's in full guard. Nice left hand. Blood dripping. Battle continues. Tries to pass but can't. Big power in the ground and pound. Nice right hand. Assassin with another shot from the top. Joe, she's doing damage with her grounding. I need you to fight back. Big shot. Oh, this fight's close to being stopped. Oh! And it's all over! And it's all standing! Big ground and pound KO! Time now for our fight replay. And let's look at the replay and see the end of this fight. This is the huge ground and pound strike that lands for the KO. Let's see that from another angle. Look at this. Bam! Out cold.
And now here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undefeated UFC strawweight champion of the world, Assassin. And she remains your UFC strawweight champion. Coming up next, it is our main event of the evening between Assassin and Claudia, Claudinia Gadelia. <laughs> Claudia Gadelia said to enter the octagon again tonight, looking to leave as the new UFC strawweight champion.
As she makes her way to the octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape. She is focused. She is motivated. And she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. Toja Gadela steps inside the octagon, ready to do battle. Assassin, making her way to the octagon, looking to defend her championship belt. The champion is making her way to the cage right now. Her preparation for this title bout has been absolutely according to plan. She is focused, she is in great shape, motivated and determined to step in here and put on a championship level performance and retain her title. Assassin, ready to defend her UFC strawweight championship. Our tale of the tape. For this strawweight championship fight, the American is 28. The Brazilian is 36. Assassin will have a four-inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, This woman is a mixed martial artist on the professional record of 22 wins, 15 losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Claudia Gagela. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a boxer. Only a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Assassin. Isaac for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Wow. No touch of the gloves. Assassin. Ready to fight. Cloud Jacket Dale. Right. Here we go. Tonight's main event of the evening is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. White trunks for God Dale. Black trunks for the champion. Joe, her last performance was the most dynamic of her mixed martial arts career. Winning in the octagon by knockout. Now we know she's got great hands, good kicks. She also has a great ground game. She's looking for another win. Good right hand there. Joe, she's staying busy on top. Nice. It appears she's got a cut on her cheek. Good work from the bottom by Gadela. Up. She's got that arm track. Excellent movement here on the ground. She moves to full guard. That connected. Three minutes. Back up. And looking for the takedown again. And she completes the single. 
There's that hand. That's what I'm talking about. What a huge right hand. Big punches. And it's all over. It's standing. KO by ground and pound. Once again, here's our fight replay. And let's look at the replay and see the end of this fight. This is the huge ground and pound strike that lands for the KO. Here we see it from another camera angle. And here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 31 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still And she remains the UFC strawweight champion.
Coming up next, it's a strawweight championship fight between Assassin and 12-gauge Paige Van Zandt. Paige Van Zandt set to enter the octagon, and tonight her goal is very simple, and that is to become the new UFC strawweight champion. As she makes her way to the octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape, she is focused, she is motivated, and she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. Paige Van Zandt enters the octagon with just one thing on her mind, the UFC championship belt. Assassin making her way to the octagon, looking to defend her championship. The champion is making her way to the cage right now. Her preparation for this title bout has been absolutely according to plan. She is focused, she is in great shape, motivated and determined to step in here and put on a championship level performance and retain her title. Assassin, ready to go to battle here at Madison Square Garden. Our tale of the tape. For this strawweight championship fight, Assassin is 28, Van Zant is 31. Assassin will have a two-inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Madison Square Garden in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Strawweight Championship of the World. It's a fighting out of the group. This woman is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Sacramento, California, presenting the challenger, 12-gauge Paige Bazzard. And now it is the champion, fighting out of the corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, two losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Assassin. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This, this is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go! Our championship fight tonight is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Though her last performance was the most dynamic of her mixed martial arts career, winning in the octagon.